Good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us. Today I am joined uh, via the magic of Zoom uh, with Patrick um, and we're here to talk about his new book, Rooted in God. Well, it's 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 sort of a new book, isn't it, Patrick? <laughs> yes, it came out during lockdown as uh, as an e-book initially, and it was always my desire that it should come out as a paperback as well, because I think a lot of people um, particularly older people uh, like to have a book, a paperback yeah. rather than an e-book. So, you know, when we talked about it and agreed to bring it out as a, as a hard copy, it was a great joy to me. Uh, it's very exciting now to sort of be able to sell the book rather than tell Just people to get the yeah. e-book. So for people who have got no idea what the book's about, just give them sort of a really quick synopsis of what they can expect. It's a book about spiritual refreshment, basically. Um, I, I started thinking about it and writing before COVID came on the scene. Yeah. And then it was kind of put on a back burner. Um, and then during COVID, uh Kevin Mayhews were asking for books that would be suitable to come out as ebooks and I put this title forwards I think it's uh, the quickest I've ever finished a book I finished <laughs> it in a matter of about three or four weeks um it came out as an ebook during covid um and then uh, as as we've already said as a, a hard copy later on my intention initially was that it would be very much about self-care and as it developed it became also spiritual refreshment uh, and encouragement and uh, I suppose with Covid it became very much um, a resource to kind of help us through the the difficulties of COVID, um, the the emotional difficulties, and and also the spiritual difficulties of not being able to go to church and that kind of thing. So, how should you use it? Is it an, for individuals? Could you use it in a group setting? How do you envisage it being used, and how could you use it? Um, it could be used for both. It could be used for individuals. It could be used for a group. Um, it can be read from one end to the other, or it can be dipped in and out of. Um, it's based on 15 of the Psalms, um, but there's also uh, promises from the Bible, teaching of Jesus, prayer resources, including at the end, uh, there's a dip in chapter of different prayers for different occasions. Okay. A lot of people find it quite difficult to pray, and particularly when they're struggling in, in, in some way. And so these prayers are designed to, or written, to enable people to, to pray, even when they're finding it difficult. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and I know you've had quite a varied career and, uh, and a life, and you've done lots of different things from counselling to horse riding does all that experience come in when you write a book like this does it sort of do you draw on all those different elements yeah I, I always believe that we should write about what we know about um so yeah with certainly yeah with most of my books I can, kind of tend to draw in from all the different things that I've been involved with in my life and a, I'm involved with now. Uh, I think more recently, my counselling has come in a lot with writing my books. Um, there, there's a lot more, I think there's a lot more empathy coming into my books, uh, a lot more sharing of my own experiences, uh, a lot more understanding of, of where people are and meeting people in that place rather than expecting them to come somewhere else to meet you yeah. know we have to meet people where they are um i think covid was 
particularly difficult uh, in terms of mental health, not so much going into things like the lockdowns, but I think it was even more difficult coming out again and, yeah, and trying to get back to some kind of normality. Uh, I think one of the things that uh, particularly neglected, particularly with Christians, is self-care. And there's a lot in this book about self-care, that we, we're good at caring for others and you know doing stuff for each other but when it comes to actually self-care that's another story yeah and obviously it's practical things it's emotional things but it's also spiritual care spending time with god and uh, we don't always have to be praying or reading the bible sometimes that spending time with god is is just resting in his presence, just being there with God and allowing him to work in our lives um, and bring refreshment, which, you know, this book's all about. It's self-care, it's, it's refreshment, it's restoration. Lovely. It sounds amazing. Um, what's your method when you're writing? Do you sort of have an idea and then you know where it's going to go? Or do you write a little bit first and then let it develop from there? Do you have the same method for each book or do you sort of play it by ear? <laughs> a lot of people ask me that question. Um, it's, it's different with different books. Yeah. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, I'll sit down and the idea will just come and you know immediately i've got some idea of the format um and other times you know i can write quite a lot of it before the format actually comes to mind um i know with the meditation series that have been with kevin mayhews for some years now uh, i was actually on the way to manchester um not driving at the time obviously <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I took out an old till receipt from my wallet and jotted down notes for the whole series, the whole oh, six wow, books. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> um, and, you know, then I was, I was kind of writing to a format. I knew what I was doing and just wrote for it. Um, but, I mean, some of the other books, I've almost finished the book before a set format has come. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I sit and it just flows, and other times you have to be disciplined and force yourself. <laughs> sit, sit and write, even though you know you're not really feeling like it or it's not flowing. Yeah. But I think once you've got once you've got a good format, then it's a lot easier to write in that disciplined way than if you haven't. Yeah. And this is book number 40, is that right? Um, well, I had two books come out more or less together. Yeah. I, do, uh, I don't so, remember if we'd beaten the other one or not in the end. <laughs> uh, they both more or less came at the same time. So it's either 40 or 41, <laughs> depending on how you look at yeah. it. That's amazing. That's quite the catalogue. I just love writing. Um, you know, I've been writing just over 20 years now, seriously yeah um but i mean even when i was at school i loved writing and used to write essays and poems and all sorts of things but i mean 40 books in like effectively 20 years that's that's quite the turnaround <laughs> yes yeah i guess it is yeah um <laughs> yeah i mean some of them come really quickly you know just a few months yeah. um others perhaps been put on the back burner for a year or two and uh, you know take longer to put together um, have you got a I, book with them all lined up <laughs> sorry have you got have a I, bookshelf with them all lined up no i haven't i should have <laughs> um there, there's some, i've got books everywhere actually in the <laughs> cupboards on the bookshelves in boxes uh, i have got copies of all 41 books <laughs> um but not all in one place <laughs> you need them sort of chronologically or something <laughs> yeah that's right yes yeah yeah what's your favorite thing about writing 
Um, I think it's a tremendous medium to spread the gospel. Um, you know, you can kind of, you can, can reach people through a book in ways that you perhaps wouldn't reach them otherwise. Uh, it's nice. I always like um, to be able to sort of give books away, you know, to sort of say, oh, well, you know, you're inquiring about this or that. You know, I've actually written a book about that. Let me give you a copy and take oh. it away and, uh, <laughs> and read it. And I mean, with, with counselling, I've given away quite a number of books yeah. to different people on, on different subjects. That must be quite a good way to sort of test material as well, I guess. Well, my, my church sort of gets that, really. Um, everything that goes into books, or more or less everything that goes into books has been uh, trial run in some way on the church. So Andy. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure when people open the books, uh, there's a familiarity about what they read. If, if I remember this one. <laughs> yes, yeah. Thank you so much for joining me, Patrick. It's so lovely to have you. Um, via zoom even if it's not in person <laughs> mm -hmm. and patrick's new book rooted in god um is available from kevinmayhew.com from your local bookshop um from uh online retailers so be sure to get your hands on a copy um we're very excited about it glad that we've got an actual physical copy but of course the ebook is available too um if you're interested in the ebook um and we hope you enjoy it as much as patrick enjoyed writing it uh, and thank you so much for joining me it's been lovely thank you thank you very thank much you.